We are here at the West Palm Beach Boat Show aboard the 40-foot Barker Boatworks Catamaran. First time we actually get a look at it and we want to bring you guys on board. Give you a few of the features that we noticed, starting off with the Quad 450Rs. Now this boat hits the mid 80s with this setup. Cruising at 45 miles an hour, burning about 0.8 miles per gallon, 55.7. So respectable, this is a 20,000 pound catamaran, a big boat to be pushed around. 450s definitely do a good job at that. You can see here in the transom, there's a lot of space back there. If you're doing any diving, hanging out at the sandbar, but you also have standard doors, port and starboard with ladders to be able to drop out and make it real easy to jump in and out of the boat. Rod holders, angled 30 degrees here in the transom. Great spot when you're running to the fishing grounds. Obviously, you have plenty of rod storage everywhere else when you're doing your actual fishing. We have two 55-gallon wells here in the transom. And these are actually coolers on either side, but you have two more 55-gallon wells here in deck. And you can also convert these to additional live well space or tuna tubes. So pretty much whatever you guys want to do with it. Eric, if you jump on board, we'll take a look at the, one of the bilge access spaces. You can see you got your sea chest, plenty of room for multiple people to jump down here and do work if they need it. Then you have this nice decking material under here, which does two things. It actually insulates this area, keeps the heat out. Also works as your gasket to keep the water out of this space from your deck area. Under here we got Fresh and salt water wash down, got that in the other side, and you can see they actually have the drain tucked underneath there and out of the way, which is pretty cool. This is an 1110 beam, so very spacious back here. This one in particular, this owner went with a summer kitchen setup. So you have a griddle, you got your sink, but you can also change this up, make it a fish station. You got tackle throughout here, and they have several options that you can go with from the company depending on what works for you. This one went a little bit more towards entertainment, entertainment, but you can see they have plenty of fishing options here as well. You got Garmin unit, which actually tucks up into the hard top as well. We're not gonna do it at the moment, just not to mess with it. Very nice oversized hard top. They went with a matte finish throughout, so it kind of kills that glare. You get off the, the ocean at times. So very nice JL audio system, which I hear is standard on this boat as well. If you take a look around this other side, no shortage of speakers. You know how JL Audio works. You can see underneath this hardtop, they have teaser reels in this one in particular, more JL Audio speakers, two VHFs, one on either side. You got your vessel view there up top as well. Dual row seating here. We'll go ahead and start with this back seat. You have the customized Barker stitching, which is really nice. I mean, this area just to hang out, and run to wherever you're running. It feels like you're sitting on a lazy boy at your, at your house watching Netflix. So these are obviously adjustable. Cool option right here. You got actually uh, refrigerators down here if you wanna refrigerate your jalapeno chips. I mean, I'm not sure, everyone has their thing. We're not gonna ask any questions. So a really cool little feature down underneath here. And then you have storage on this elevated platform space that they have here in the second row and up at the helm area as well. Pop these open, more storage. You can stick your phone in there. Obviously, uh, hide a brewski if you need to do that for some reason. Tuck it away when you're running. Very nice. Up to the helm area, more storage underneath. Not sure, no, nope, nothing there. You got dual 24 inch Garmin's. You got Optimus 360 here. This is all elevated, so a great field of vision right here. It's a big boat, but you feel almost feel like you're on a small sport fish of some sort here. Um, all enclosed, out of the elements, really nice space. Beautiful Edson wheel right here in the matte black. More storage here on either side and just a very nice and simple setup. Something cool, they actually put the Garmin control right here so you don't even have to mess with it. If you're sitting back on this seat, never seen this before. I mean, you can control your Garmin right from here. So, very cool. Nice little detail. Continue off this way. You can see something nice that they did is they actually recessed their piping, which you can tell is very high-end, sturdy stuff, but actually tucked it away. So this, this stuff is not 
at least in the console area, protruding out into your walkway space. So small little detail, but a nice one. I guess some sort of tempered glass here. Very nice. All these boxes up here are frigid rigid, so they're all cooled. So let's go ahead and check out the console space. Eric, why don't you pop up on this side? You can take a look in there. Pretty good space for a catamaran. You have the option for a head here, obviously. This owner didn't want it. It's basically storage. You can put coolers in here. You can put luggage if you're running to the Bahamas, and it's actually rather large for a catamaran. Hey, they have a Siren Marine unit, which we have on our boat. Love those guys and what they do. Geofencing for your boat. They tell you if your bilge pump is working too uh, actively. Uh, really important feature. It tells you where your boat's at, has infrared sensors if someone jumps in and is touching something that they shouldn't. Look into them if you don't, uh, you haven't heard of them yet. So back to the Barker. Huge lounger area here. You got kind of a 15 degree uh, decline here for your rod holders. This looks like a, a lounge area at a high-end Ritz-Carlton or something. And then pop this out open. Let's take a look at the size of this cooler storage space. This one in particular doesn't have it, but the other boat has actually a coiled system. So this whole thing is refrigerated and you can actually set the temperature to 32 degrees and cool this whole thing like the refrigerator of your home. So pretty awesome whether you're using that for fish, food, drinks, to head to the uh, to the islands, whatever floats your boat. Actually, we missed this thing. Let's pop this open. This is a, a under gunnel rod storage. This is lockable, so you can hide your rods, your gas, whatever you want to put in there. Close that up, lock it up. We'll pop one of these open just so we can take a look at it. Again, these are all frigid, rigid boxes up here, so. They'll hold ice for just about as long as you want. Very nicely finished everywhere. More rod storage underneath here. You got a pretty serious windless scenario. All right there, looks like a full-blown winch. This boat will definitely not have any problems with that. Then you have access to it up here as well. And then storage on either side of the sponsons here. That's great. Never a bad thing to have a ton of storage. This boat definitely has it. So you have the lockable rod storage underneath here as well. We got a light bar up top, Garmin open array radar. Really nicely done. Glad we finally got to take a look at it. If you guys find value in these walkthroughs, these videos, please subscribe, share it with your friends, share it with your family. Let us know what else you'd like to see, what we're missing. We'll gladly try to accommodate that. So thank you guys again for your time. Thank you to Kevin Barker and his team for giving us the uh, chance to check this boat out. We'll see you again soon.